Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I'm a DWI defense attorney located in Ithaca, New York. And today I wanted to answer the question, is it smart to refuse some tests, but not all of the police tests? Well, my thing is, if you choose to refuse, you should choose to refuse all. <laughs> because giving them some evidence versus no evidence is a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. Because the best case, the best case, uh, you've given the police no field side sobriety test. You've given them no preliminary breath test. You've given them no chemical test, and you submit, and you get arrested, and they bring you back to the station, and you just sit there. Well, how much evidence do they have now that you're drunk or impaired or anything? Because you haven't walked for them, you haven't talked for them, you haven't you haven't tried to do any coordination for them, you haven't given them any information, you haven't given them a sample of your body fluids. You have. Evidence is what runs cases. Without evidence, their case is going to not be a strong case against you for DWI or much of anything else. So my whole thing is, listen, if you decide at the, and early enough you decide I am not gonna take the breath test, you should also say I'm not taking any tests and I'm not making any statements and I'm not doing anything except giving you my driver's license and my registration for my car. That's it. And then you go and you sit, very, very nicely with your hands in your lap and keep your mouth shut. That to me is a great case to defend. If you have questions about your DWI case, you can either give us a call, shoot us an email, or fill the phone on our website. Be more than happy to discuss it with you. And thanks for watching this video. Mm -hmm.